Yo, welcome back and welcome to Austin, Texas, man. It is a beautiful day out here, 90 degrees, and we are ready to catch some fish. Check us out, sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box on today's episode. More about this here in a little bit. Excellent subscription service to get new baits at your door every single month like we have for years. But guys, let me tell you about where we're fishing. We came down here to hit up Lake Austin primarily, but we saw that this is a brand new property with PWF private water fishing. You've seen us fish some private water locations by them in the past and check it out. If you guys want to sign up, you can save $50 off initiation. Code's going to be in the description. We're going to be fishing a very scenic 30 acre lake out here tonight. It's so awesome. We're right behind the resident's house and the place is looking beautiful. They got a dock out here, a concrete boat ramp. There's lily pads surrounding this place. There's cows jumping in the water, having a good old time. And we are ready to do the same as well, y'all. We got the baits inside the box. We're going to go ahead and rig up. We got a lot of stuff already set up on the hot tamale. If you guys are newer subscribers, the bass boat is out for the Austin trip. We already saw a fish explode on what's probably some bluegill right here in the shallow, so hopefully the bite is on today. The water does not look crystal clear, but more about this uh, location as well as Mystery Tackle Box in just a second. Let's go ahead and get this boat launched. I'm breaking out the clickbait. It's gonna cruise through the shallows right above all this grass that we're seeing. Uh, we're throwing at the bank real quick since we saw that one bass just attack a little bait fish up shallow. See if we can't get lucky on this guy right here. I'm probably gonna throw a saucy swimmer on the back as my trailer, probably a small one, like a 3.3 inch or so. This is a 3 8 ounce right here, but this silver blade and vibration is gonna be key since it's so windy. Really get some vibration in the water there to draw those bass in if they can't see it because of the visibility. Maybe I can learn how to tie a fishing knot in the process of explaining all this, but this is like a sexy shad type of color. Really pops. So when you combine all that, it is a recipe for a big bass. Now if we can't find them up shallow with this guy right here, we're gonna be varying things up and see if we can find them out deeper. We're just kind of keying in off that first little hit we saw on the bank before we even got out of the truck. I believe this bait came in uh, last month's MTB box. It's got some amazing summer baits for you guys, which is going to be current for all the bass you're targeting right now. But check us out. We're starting things off with the clickbait. You're on? Nice. Is he, is he, are you swimming? You I think you got him. You got him. Found a couple out here. Okay. Good one too. Nice. Yeah. First one on the property. Oh man. Yeah. There's a couple out there. Hold on. There's a couple out here. Oh, All right. I think we're keying in on them, y'all. We found a couple on live scope. The place is pretty shallow, but we find a nice pocket. And uh, there's still a few more out here for sure. All right, y'all. First one of the night. Ended up finding them on that moving bait. I just lost one on. That good old saucy swimmer with the underspin. I'm gonna have to change him out because this guy got his tail. But um, you know, we're just live scoping them. Not a bad fish at all. This place is definitely pretty strange. It's like, well, let's go ahead and get him in the water real quick. First fish of Austin. <laughs> Slow rolling. This place is very strange. We're still trying to figure it out because it seems like the entire lake is like in between one foot to like three foot. We finally found this area that seems to be in that four to five foot range and that's the first fish that we were able to link up with. So it does seem like they are liking that little bit of a deeper bit of water opposed to the shallow stuff. Six feet all through here and I don't see them here anymore. No, there's some that way. All right, y'all, we didn't have too much time at the lake yesterday, so we're at another property with PWF. This is the Bremen Lake. But before we launch, a quick word from our sponsor, Mystery Tackle box. I've been using this for the last couple years, you guys. They send you a box of baits at your door every single month. It's like Christmas every single month. Check the link down in the description for $10 to try your first box. It is a steal. You get different baits like we have a buzz bait in this month's box. We've got some craws. We've got some lizards, actually. Pretty sick. Some paddle tail swim baits. A deep diving crank, or what appears to be a deep diving crank. It's got a larger bill and then another square bill in here. They've even got some hooks in the box for your favorite soft plastics, just so you have some options, you guys. You could even use it, of course, with all the stuff inside of the box. But y'all can try your first one for 10 bucks. Use code Weston at checkout on your first mystery tackle box. You literally specify what type of fish you want to catch, and they're going to send you a box of baits catered to the area as well as the time of year for that species. It does not get much better. Go out there and catch some fish, you guys. 
guys. Thanks to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring today's video. Good. <laughs> the grade on that ramp is just real shallow and then boom. There's action everywhere. We're making our first few casts of the morning, kind of starting with some search baits. I've got on a crankbait, Devin's throwing the swim bait. We're noticing a lot of fish on live scope here, a lot of fish, and they're all above eight feet in depth. So even though we're sitting in 10 feet and uh, just back there, we were in like 18 feet, there are a lot of fish hanging out above this thermocline layer. There's like a temperature shift. You can see it on the graph. And so we're trying to see if we can get on a little active bite real quick before we get into these trees, which at this property looks so amazing. There's some big fish at this location down here in Austin, and we are definitely excited to start pitching some Texas rigs, jigs, etc., and all that goodness here shortly. But if we can get on a little move and bite, just put a fish in the boat real quick, that'd be all right with us. <laughs> well, first one was a tiny guy. <laughs> Didn't get the land, but that's okay. Oh, now I need a maintenance cast over here. The braid kind of sunk into itself, digs into the spool. Black and blue quarter ounce juicy jig with the crack and crawl. I'm gonna keep it here. <laughs> I was just trying to tell you, I'm gonna keep it here while we cast around. Little fish so far. Second fish of the morning, first fish in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Got one. A little swim bait. <laughs> nice. Ten pound line, my first catch ever on the Corrado BFS. <laughs> That's the bait finesse systems, Corrado dudes. Sick, y'all. Little swim baits getting them. It looks just like this guy, honestly. It's just like a baby bass kind of color. That's funny. 3.8 inch saucy swimmer on just a little mushroom jig head, like a little Ned deal. Getting it this morning, right off the uh, tree in like two foot of water. I think that's my first fish landed today. In the rod locker deal, there's a sexy shad crankbait rigged up on that red scorpion. There's fish everywhere, this is ridiculous. It's so murky, maybe a freaking spinnerbait. Oh, got one. There we go. Got a fish. What is it? Ooh. What is it, y'all? First one on the BFS that's taking a little drag. Might be a couple pounds here. Just fighting it in open water with this 10 pound line. Baby saucy swimmer, the motor. What do we have here? This could be, might need the net for this guy. <laughs> oh my gosh, this reel is sick. This fish is, uh, he's running. Oh my gosh. It's almost like throwing spinning gear right now, y'all. I'm on a twitch rod. Oh, he's a couple pounds. Okay, nothing huge, but this is sick with this reel. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a smallmouth fight. <laughs> Devin's trying to get the net opened up. Wow, he might be like three pounds. Just fan casting that swim bait, y'all. Trying to dig that rod down. I'm letting him fight it out. Wow, he's they like really fight hard here. <laughs> this is not a huge bass. Oh my gosh. All right, get ready. Oh, he didn't like the net. You're going to have to get under him. Oh my gosh. Get ready. Get ready. Nice. That's a butterball. That thing's fat. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That might actually be like three plus pounds because of how fat it is. What on earth? On the baby saucy swimmer. Dang, that thing is fat. Oh my gosh. Y'all, the fish on this property are so plump. They get all the bait fish they want, hook set right in the top of the mouth. I did get lucky this thing didn't come unhooked though, because it does seem like it's just barely kind of skin hooked in there. Oh my goodness. And since it's the first, you know, decent fish, it has no length. It has no length, but it's so fat. It is literally the shape of a football. People say footballs when they catch a bass. This is the shape of a football. I'm gonna put it on a scale. Just to kind of, I'm kind of curious, like, 
what is this weight to length ratio? Because it, it looks like it's the length of a one and a half pounder. But I think it is much bigger. <laughs> Y'all, this bass is two pounds, 15 ounces. It's an, it's an ounce shy of a three pounder. This is insane. This thing is so short and that's a three pound fish. Imagine if we catch like a 25 inch right here, it's gonna be like freaking 14 pounds or something. Let's get this guy back in the water. First nice fish out of this Austin private water fishing location, y'all. <laughs> that was cool. I wonder if I should throw that mini clutch. It's like this big micro clutch. Watch me catch like a, a five pounder. Micro recon. There's actually rattles in here. <laughs> Which one do you think I should throw? Lipless or the recon? We are breaking out the new micro clutch. It is so calm this morning, but I've already done all the calm tactics too. I mean, I threw the worm wacky rigged for a little while. We downsized baits. We went back into the trees. It's been just a little tough today. This water clarity, by the way, uh, I think is normally better here. So I don't know if it was because of the recent rain, but it might've rained here a little yesterday. Yeah, that could definitely be throwing them off a little bit. I'm just thinking this little guy, he's got a chartreuse tail. He's also got that rattle and he's so tiny that it's like an irresistible treat and it's very hard to tie a knot with like this 10 pound line. I'm not used to this micro stuff. Y'all check this out. I'm throwing that micro clutch. It is an eighth of an ounce and this thing is launching it. 10 pound line on the BFS. This thing is so sick. Uh, <laughs> this is really my first test of the bait finesse systems reels, any of them. And the clicking drag is, is awesome because you kind of realize, you know, you've got that lighter line on there. You can't necessarily tell how much drag those fish are taking sometimes with that lighter gear unless you have that audible cue. So very cool. Look at this clutch. I mean, this is the size of the bait I'm throwing. This is something you might like jig ice fishing or you might toss out baits this size for some smallies. Y'all tell me. It's also a great way of finessing down to catch some largies though when the bite's been tough. And so that's exactly what we're doing. I think the only reason why I haven't caught anything on this yet is only because the clarity is so bad. And that's why I kind of picked the one with that chartreuse little tail just to get a little flash and pop. I'm throwing it on the Guggen Squad Twitch Rod, which isn't like a dedicated BFS rod, of course, but it is kind of the lightest casting reel by Guggen Squad, and it's got that softer tip, and it's really working great for everything I've thrown with this reel. So overall, I'm just like super impressed by this thing. Look at that. No thumb till it hits the water. Absolutely crazy. We're launching this thing out there. I see some action over there too. BFS reel, man, it's so compact, very easy to palm. This is only a, a 70 size spool. So the thing is that lighter line though, you can still get a lot on there and I'm able to make bomb casts. I've retied a lot and I've still got so much line on here. It's not even funny. The handles are, I believe a little bit shorter, but for sure even like the grips feel smaller. Everything about this is just more compact, designed for those lighter finesse baits. I'm loving this thing so much. I'm gonna be throwing it the rest of summer as the bite gets finicky like this. You know what they do, they like to go out deep here today, the only reason we aren't throwing something at the bottom is because of that thermocline layer. All these fish seem to be hanging out up high, and even in the trees over there, those are in like four to six feet uh, maximum depth, and we haven't had any luck off the trees today. We threw a lot of different bottom baits, so that's when you gotta finesse it down in the summertime. Something like those small swim baits, mini zingers. So if you guys have any more questions on the Corrado BFS, let me know exactly what they are in the comment section. I'm gonna try and do my best to answer any of those, and maybe even come out with a follow-up, like 90-day review video, and see if she's still cranking turning and burning and how many big fish we've caught on this thing because that was an absolute thrill ride catching that three pounder on this thing honestly that was way more of a fun fight than if i just caught that on the beefy like flipping stick and i'm over here just like yanking that thing up it would have taken no time at all on something like a texas rig but with this it made it so much fun so I think we're wrapping our fishing up down here in Austin, Texas. We do have a checkout at noon and we still got a ways to drive back to the hotel. We got to get the dogs all prepped and ready. So we'll catch you guys in future videos back up at Dallas. Thank you again to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring today's video. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace. I just took the GoPro off. We decided to make a couple last casts and I caught a fish on the mini clutch. Yo, a largey on the mini clutch. Yes.
I'm literally almost more excited about this fish than that three pounder. This thing came on the freaking micro clutch, baby. Look at this bait. This is real life. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. Look at that bait. Oh my gosh. Literally, if we did not film this, I would not believe that micro clutch. That is so funny, man. Little finesse lipless crankbait right off of the tree over here. That is sick. Just when we thought we were all done for the day, secure one more before we split. We literally just got another little guy on the micro clutch. Nice, y'all. Another one. Let's get this guy back in the water. So crazy. Micro clutch. I'm loving it. See you, bud. Thanks for playing.